Hello all, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to install and configure Sonar Cube with Postgres database. For that, uh, I have set up a T2 medium instance. And uh, if you see the requirements for the Sonar Cube, uh, we have to jump into the docs.sonarcube.org. There, the requirements and uh, prerequisites are mentioned here. The Java version required is 11 and uh, the Postgres database it may be of 9.6 version 10, 11, 12, 13 or any one and uh, the set of commands they are mentioned below right here if you can scroll so I have prepared a detailed documentation in this way I'll mention all these commands in the description below please go through them to keep the video in short I'll be doing it very fast so just follow me first let's connect the instance now We are connected to the instance now. Let's switch to the root user and update the app repository. From now on, I'll just do the commands very fast. So just follow the commands which are mentioned in the description below. So let's get started. So in the first step, we have to change the VM max map count. Okay, and then we have to change the file max value to 65,536 as per the documentation and you limit value okay now let's update the repository and install and the package and double get as well now let's install java 11th version and uh, check the java version whether it is installed See, 11th version is installed, and uh, the second step is to set up Postgres. So, use this command uh, which I have mentioned in the documentation, which will add the package to our repository. Do the command and hit enter. And now, in the, in the second step, uh, we should add the app key in the second step. Okay, it has been added, and uh, now update the repository once. And then we can install Postgres SQL. Postgres SQL has been successfully installed and uh, we have to start the service. Use the command service Postgres SQL start. And uh, to check the status, use this. Yes, it is active. Now we have to set the password for Postgres user. Uh, give some password. Repeat the password again. Yes, it is updated and uh, switch to the Postgres user. We have to switch to Postgres if you can see here. Yes. Now let's create a user called Sonar. Okay. And uh, to switch into Postgres shell, use the command psql. It will switch into Postgres database. Now for the user, we have to encrypt with a password. Use some password like this and uh, hit enter. And then we will create our database with a name called uh, Sonar Cube. And the owner will be the user just now we created and uh, grant all permission to the database means the user sonar will have all the privileges to access the database using this command and now let's exit from the database and uh, let's, let's exit from the postgres user as well and let's switch back to ubuntu to user and now let's install sonar cube use this command double get followed by this Link. Uh, you can find this in the official documentation. Uh, you can select in, you can select in version. For now, I have chosen 7.9.6 LTS version. So a zip file with Sonar Cube name has been downloaded, and uh, we have to unzip it with the command unzip. And uh, you see, it has successfully extracted. And uh, let's move this file to OPG directory. So pretty. Just give some sonar cube. Remove the version. 
okay it has successfully moved now now for the user owner we have to create a group so use the command group add and uh, the group name i'm giving it as one driver so it has successfully added and uh, let's add the user sonar to that sonar group just now we have moved the sonar cube into opt directory and uh, for that we have to give all privileges to the user sonar use the command chown sonar colon sonar and the directory where it is current file name and hyphen r recursively it will give all permission to this user sonar so let's check that uh, let's jump into the directory command ll now if you can see the owner has been changed from root to sonar for this sonar cube directory okay and now we have to make some changes in the sonar.properties file so it is available in the location sonar cube in configuration directory you can find the sonar.properties okay let's switch into that and if you can scroll down user credentials and uh, we have to comment it out Give the username sonar and the password which you have which you have given and uh, we have to comment another line that is we are mentioning where our postgres is here which is running and uh, we have to mention that url as well so it is running in this server so local host and it runs on 543 to port number postgres and uh, now let's save and quit and uh, we have to make another change in sonar.sh file this is available in location opt directory sonar cube and in bin if we go to into linux directory we can find the sonar.sh hit enter and if we scroll down we can find run as user let's comment it out give the username which we have in this sonar save and quit again and now switch to sonar user use the command sudo sh sonar yeah now go into the bin directory to start sonar cube okay pws we find uh, sonar.sh use the command sonar.sh start see the sonar cube has been successfully started the main reason why we are creating the user is uh, the elastic search inside the sonar cube it won't entertain root users to start or stop the sonar cube services and to make any changes so that is why we should uh, create a dedicated user for this operations and all so let's uh, check whether this sonar cube is up and running okay so let's go now to check whether the sonar cube is up and running mm, copy the public ip and give the port number 9000 see we can successfully able to log into sonar cube page and uh, to log in the credentials will be admin and admin for the first time this is how our dashboard looks like in sonar cube projects issues quality profiles quality gates and administration this i'll be explaining in the next video so the sonar cube is open and uh, now we can also check the logs here in the sonar cube directory we can find the directory name logs switch into that and if we see sonar.log dot log we can see here the process is up so i'll give it up so these are all the logs you can find if you have any troubles or issues facing you can just open the logs and uh, troubleshoot them i hope this video is useful and uh, if there are any viewers watching for the first time don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from this channel thank you